Rivers have been the lifelines of our nation India and of every nation in a way. River Tapi is the lifeline of city Surat in the state Gujarat. Counted among the main rivers of Indian Peninsula, the sacred river Tapi is 724 kilometers long which originates from Madhya Pradesh, the central state of India. Passing over many miles from here, the river makes its way to South Gujarat in Surat and finally merges in Gulf of Kambay of Arabian Sea. According to Hindu mythology, the sun god brought Tapi river to protect himself from his heat. There is also a mention of this river in the epic Mahabharat and Puran. From ancient times, rivers are worshipped irrespective of caste and creed in India. This river Tapi in its glorious days impressed many great people from all over the world. King Vajibhavrudh of Thailand named his city as Surat Thani impressed by the Indian city Surat and its glory. So, River Tapi was having glorious past. But, with the passage of time, because of this ancient tradition, wittingly or unwittingly, rivers are getting polluted. One can see hundreds of years back in India, common people followed unhealthy and unhygienic ways of defecation. The reason may be the people were blindly following their shepherds in the name of tradition or it may be there was no alternative left. that, while purifying their own body and soul, they pollute the river itself. Even people, they take a sip of water from the river in the name of tradition. Even after having all the facilities and education, still today, people are following the rituals related with various pujas and festivals superstitiously and the mother river Tapi has to bear all the ill effects. Not having a proper waste management system is also one of the main reasons for contaminating the river. 
Now, the need of the hour is to save each and every drop of river thapi for the future generation. Present ill condition of the river is proclaiming us to start performing our moral and social responsibility to spread and encourage more awareness. Some of the steps which we can take are installation of CCTV cameras at various places near the river banks. Thus, continuous monitoring shall be done. Also, strengthen the rules against the culprits. Next, the respective authorities should arrange the facilities for the proper sanitation and should impose heavy fines on dumping waste in the river. Let's pass on the golden heritage of our river Tapi with its full accord and plethora. We must nurture and nourish the river Tapi and all the rivers of our country and take them back to their glory. It's now or never.